And this is the anterior and then um, the caudal part of the sternum, okay? So anterior and posterior part of the sternum. And this is where actually the heart sits here, okay? And so the internal organs um, are on the uh, dorsal side, and then this is the ventral side. So this is where the keel, if you will, of the sternum lies. And then this is also the sternum sagittally sectioned in half. So you can see where this part of the keel, this right here is right up underneath the two front limbs. And so you can imagine that the point of the elbow sits right about here. So if you think about the legs, the point of the keel or the largest part of the keel will sit right in between the two front legs. So what we're going for, these are the sternebra, and these are the marrow spaces where we'll get marrow from, okay? So this is number one, two, three, four, five, and six. And four, five, and six is typically about where we're getting marrow from. So that would end up being right at where the keel starts to get much more thin, like right about here is right about where we're going to uh, do our sternal puncture, okay? So think about the point of the elbow sitting here and just behind the point of the elbow being here, and that's mm -hmm. going to be somewhere between this, <laughs> number three, and number six yeah. bone marrow site. If we go too far forward, we're going to have a lot more no, heel this is, this is to puncture through. So we'll want to go more... Um, behind that region to get into four, five, or six. So that's going to again be about right here on our sternum. Then we'll take our, so what we're going for here is we're um, taking our needle in trocar, our jam sheeting needle, and we're going right up against the bottom of the sternum. So when we, we go, puncture through the skin, the skin would be about at this level here, so then my finger is gonna be here, okay? So we're gonna have this distance here that we're gonna puncture in. Again, skin and muscle are gonna be roughly two centimeters, and then we're gonna wanna go about another two centimeters to get into the marrow space. So when I get up to the surface, the eventual surface of the sternum, and I rub back and forth, I'm just actually making sure that I'm up against the bottom of the sternum and then I'm going to do my rotating motion, go through this cartilage that's about where I'm going into so really you only have to go about two centimeters or so from the surface into here. You'll still have a lot more, but you don't want to puncture, obviously, into any internal organs, mainly being the heart. <laughs> so you want to make sure you're at this level and you'll get into the bottom third and still be very safe.
look at the point of the elbow and come straight down and right in the middle. And again, we're going to feel the midline here. The ilium is, this is the dorsal and the ventral part in the front and back. And again, on this region, that's right where we're going, right in here into the mid body of the ilium. And again, we're gonna go in about two centimeters. And right here is where our marrow space is. So right in here is where our marrow sits. This is obviously a cadaver, but um, this is where our marrow is sitting and that's where we're gonna collect it from the ilium.